Good evening, everybody. Welcome down to Gelang Sarai Virtual Community Club. And once again, it's our Optimal Aging Talk Show and we have presenter Doris. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we have a very interesting topic. <laughs> okay, uh, so before we start, right, we want to disclaim and also remind everyone that Eileen and myself, we are both not medical professionals. Mm. Uh, everybody, right, has different sets of underlying conditions. Mm. So it's advisable that we consult your own doctors or other certified medical professionals for more information and personalised advice. Indeed, indeed, yes. Okay, so welcome back to our Optimal Aging Strategy Talk Show. So uh, I always want to emphasize and you know remind everyone, our friends and viewers here, that strategies only three, just three only, sanke. Mm. <laughs> the first one is having enough exercises, the correct exercises. Mm. So uh, you know, uh, exercises, physical activities, you know, move around. You can walk, brisk walk. You can run, jog, you can go swimming, uh, you can also join the national challenge, national step challenge uh, by health promotion board, you know, win some vouchers for yourself, uh, hit all the tier. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, different type of exercises we mm. can go through uh, in other episodes or you know uh, in previous episodes we also touched briefly about it like strengthening exercises, mm. uh, cardiovascular, mm. you know, get our heartbeat going, as well as balancing so that we don't fall down that easily as well. Yeah. Yeah, different type of exercises. Yeah. Then of course our makan, our mm. nutrition, you know, we have to eat properly with the right kind of nutrition diet for ourselves. What how much to eat, what to eat, when to eat, things like that. Then of course thirdly, uh, we have to take care of our social network, have a decent social support system, you know, connect with friends, connect with your family, connect with other people around you. Of course now because of COVID, right? Mm. We know a lot of people uh, are keeping their distance, you know, one one meter, one two one to two meter uh, meter apart. Yeah. So we have you know a virtual show here to connect with all of you to build up and strengthen our social network as well. Yeah, indeed. Wow, so really excited uh, right now to hear what Doris have in store for us this week. What topic will we be touching on? Okay, we'll be reading food oh, labels. Okay, this is one that everybody's been waiting for. Wow. Yes. Okay, uh, so there are still some steps mm. that we want to uh, remind everyone when we go for food labels because we like to buy things, right? From yes. the mama shop, from the supermarket. We, we, we will buy in packet. Then there will be like all this square, square thing yeah. called food labels. So a lot of logos, advertising as well. So first of all, we have to view the claims with discretion. Of course, uh, there's like healthier choice, uh, less sugar, you know, uh, good for heart, healthy heart, all these kind of logo. Yes, there's some truth in it. The thing is that how much truth in it? So like you compare like this item, they say good for heart. But it's good for heart because it has lice oil of the same kind of product. You can actually don't eat this and you know, it's okay. Yeah, so you, you, it's like, you know, you are comparing apple to apple or apple and orange. Mm. Yeah, so view claims with your own description. This one we can actually talk about it uh, uh, later also. Mm. Then of course, the different type of ingredients in the food label. Mm. Yeah, so uh, hydronated fats, uh, oils are trans fats. So we always say trans fat no good. So later we also talk about why trans fats are no good. Mm. Then of course, artificials are also no good. Art artificial sugars. Mm. Yeah, then of course, uh, any words which is too long, too bombastic, unpronounceable, we have to take note as well. Mm. Yeah. Then of course, the third thing is that we like to look at nutritional fats, mm. whether they are good and bad. Mm. So, you know, things like fats, sugar, sodium, mm. these are things that I consider them not so good for us. Mm. Yeah. Then of course, there are good things, which is like, uh, for example, calcium is good for us. Mm. Uh, all the different type of vitamins different type of minerals. Mm. So a lot of food like in Singapore, for example, uh, usual food that we eat every day like bread, mm. milk. Bread and milk are two of the items which are, are fortified. So we can actually talk about fortified a little bit later. Mm. But just to remind us, everyone here, fortified means we add in things which is good for us. Ah. Yeah. So that's what we call fortified. That means these items like bread, uh, roti, uh, ah. uh, milk, uh, they say fortified, uh, fortified <laughs> bread, fortified milk. That means this has been 
added in. These good stuff like minerals, vitamins have to add it in. Ah, in natural, they don't have it. Um. We have Li Chu Wei. Hey, hello, Li Chu Wei. Thank hello. you for joining us. Yes, we have host Eileen Wee here. Eileen, teacher Eileen, teacher Eileen, <laughs> and also Doris. Thank you, Li Chu Wei. Where's uh, Lisa and Roland? You can ask them to join as well. Li Chu Wei. So today, uh, Doris will re uh, again explain the topic. We are talking about. Uh, optimal active aging. Today we are teaching all our viewers, including yourself, Li Chiu Wei, how to read food label. It's so important, you know, to know how to read food labeling. Then you know the exact nutrients, okay? So not to exceed uh, your sodium content. Yes, your sodium content. And yes, where you are working at, yeah, Li Chiu Wei, you can also next time help uh, your customers, you know, in reading food labeling. Because sometimes uh, each individual has own uh, body needs, you know, uh, cannot exceed too much uh, certain things, sodium, not too much sugar or something. So food labeling, uh, where you're working, have uh, a lot of uh, opportunity for you to help the people down there. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So just now we we're saying that okay, maybe I we'll start a bit uh, No, yes. for our view uh, benefit. Way. Uh, mm. way. Yeah. So first of all, we view the claims with discretion. All yes. the claims is like you know healthier heart, less trans or fats. Yes. Uh, these are you know like uh claims. So we, we have to check all the different components. Uh, mm. uh, we have to, you know, pan sing pan yi in a sense. Lah. Yes. Uh, then the second one is the ingredients. What are kind of ingredients that mm. are inside the food? Mm, correct. Uh, Chuwei say hi, hi to Doris. Hello. Yeah. Chuwei, drop us a comment. Uh, anything that you want to know more about, uh, you can just ask because Doris here, uh, she can answer uh, your questions about uh, healthy uh, diet as well as reading food labeling. And of course, our talk show today is about optimal active aging. Mm. Yeah, so okay. Doris can uh, explain a bit more. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, nutrition facts. Uh, nutrition facts as in whether the good stuff or the bad stuff. Yes. Yeah, of course, uh, things which you consider bad, right, are not exactly bad that we have to avoid because we will need things like sugar, fat, mm. sodium. We need all this to, you know, function yes. as a whole, but in a controlled amount. Ah. So later in the few, uh, next few slides, we'll talk how much is too much, how much is not enough. Yes. Chewie says uh, there's a reward for eating healthy. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Correct. I also, you know, you scan, you buy the good, uh, the, the roti, right? They, then at the supermarket, they will give you a QR code. Yeah. Then the QR code, you use your handphone app to scan the, oh. the Healthy Health 365 app. Oh, so Chuwe, you have this Healthy 365 app. Actually, teacher Eileen didn't know about it. Thank you for mentioning. Yes, Chuwe, now you're helping uh, our public and the viewers already because you brought up, you know, uh, something that can benefit everybody. So it's an app, yeah? Yes. Uh, so eat healthy, you scan, then you can maybe score points. Yes, uh. correct. Mm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we're talking about bad and good, right? So the not so good one, which I consider bad, but they're not entirely bad. They are just like you exit, then it will be bad. Ah. Yeah, so if we still need it, it's just that don't exceed. Then of course the good one are the food that we rarely uh, food that we rarely you know eat so that yeah. we don't meet enough of these um, vitamins or mineral. Ah. Like for example calcium. A lot of people might not have enough calcium yes. because they don't drink milk. They you know avoid dairy products. Yes. I mean in Asia context. Like those intolerant don't. maybe. Yes, and lactose like intolerant as well. So mm. we need like food. Uh, which are fortified by all these different minerals and vitamins also. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. So uh, for me, one example is that I think I did not eat enough pro, uh, probiotics. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, probiotics is still very important for us, for our gut health, remember? Yes. To have a healthy balance. So later we'll talk about it as yeah. well. I realised that I did not eat enough. Mm -hmm. So I must, you know, watch my intake, you know, get more probiotics in my system. Ah, so Chuwei, uh, today uh, presenter Doris is also sharing about her personal uh, body condition. Yes. Uh, she needs more probiotics. But I think this applies to a lot of people as well. Yes. Uh, teacher Eileen understand, you know, after taking medication like antibiotics, Sometimes our good bacteria will be good uh, and bad. Go go. Ah yeah yeah you're right. Good and bad. Oh god. Yeah. So probiotics. Uh yes. Uh is very essential. Uh for most people. So how about you, Chuwe? Uh do you take probiotics? It's good for gut health. You know. Yes. Probiotics you can have it from yako. I mean uh those uh yo yogurt. Yogurt. You're right. Yogurt, kimchi, things like that. Yes. Yeah. Fermented food. Mm. Okay, so we have already called to three points. The fourth point is very important, is our serving size. Ah, serving when size. we buy something like, for example, a potato chip, a bag of potato chip, we just eat in front of the TV. Mm. But do you know that, you know, in uh, every packaging, right, they will say serving size. Yeah. Like, 
what is the recommended amount. Yes. Yeah. Then for so some of it, maybe it's suitable for four serving. That means you have to uh, eat four times, you know, the package, not one shot finish. Ah. Uh, you eat already, uh, then maybe tomorrow, then you continue the second portion. Mm. Uh, then the day after, the third portion. Or you share with three other people, you know, yeah. things like that. Yeah, we don't every day, you know, one person eat everything. Yeah, that's what... Uh, we, for us as laymen, lah, my me and my family, you know when we buy one packet of potato chips, how about you, Chuwe? Do you finish the whole packet? Because I see behind, oh, carbohydrates, this amount. Okay, lah, I can afford it for one whole day. But I didn't know that it meant serving size. And one serving could be not the whole packet. It's yes. just one handful, you know, yeah, of the uh, packet. Correct. It will state that serving, you know, yes. how, for how many serving inside this packet. So usually it can be like two or four, you know, we have to read a different kind of label. Understand. Yeah. Then, of course, uh, the other thing is that all the nutritional value, right? Mm -hmm. They were based on 100 grams mm -hmm. or based on you know the whole packaging. That one we have to take note also. Ah. Later we will go through that okay. with some example. How? Okay, then of course the last one is very easy. Got to remind everyone also, let's choose whole unprocessed foods. Mm. Mm, natural food from Mother Nature. Yeah, like uh, apple. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh. Uh, don't, don't eat like processed foods. Okay. Try not to. Okay, so yeah, the everybody, you know, we say like trans fat, don't eat trans fat, got trans fat, don't eat. Why? Why trans fat no good? Yeah, why trans fat is no good? I want to ask the question too. Okay, so it's hydrogenated oil, mm. you know, it is a different name, but it's the same thing, they are trans fat. So these are actually a process, it's a chemical process to give longer shelf life. Ah. So like your potato chip, right, last time, okay, now not so much trans fat, last time maybe 10 years ago, mm. a lot of food, uh, you know, include trans fat. It's a chemical process, so that it's more crispy. Yeah, they keep longer also. Uh. Yeah, like crunchy, crispy, they won't lao hong so fast. Mm. Yeah, they can store longer. However, this process, right, will change the structure of these unsaturated fats, uh. then become trans fats. So, you know, studies have shown that, you know, these trans fats, right, you eat too much, they will cause the body inflammatory reaction uh. and then might lead to diabetes and heart disease also. Oh my goodness. That's why a lot of countries uh, have banned or restrict the amount of trans fat in food already. Oh. If you check all the labels, uh, they put trans fat, right? Yes. It's either zero or zero point something. Mm. They were, you know, food with a lot of trans fat, usually, you know, they don't allow. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I learned something very important today. Body inflammatory reaction, ah, wow, then can relate and flare up for diabetes and heart disease because um, even other things not coming to do with trans fat, like sleeping late, uh, having late nights, you know, uh, or um, you know, maybe say drink too much medication or even drinking alcohol can cause body inflammation. Yes. Eh. Because oh. the body, like haywire, they like not normal already, oh so inflamed. Goodness. Oh my goodness, so actually, this um, sometimes when we have aging uh, conditions as well as like organs, uh, injury, oh, it's actually can be due to very simple things like not sleeping enough, eating the wrong food. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. So that's why we encourage everyone, you know, please you know, try to eat healthier, reconsider what we are going to eat, yeah. uh, exercise, you know, maintain healthy relationship. That's, that's why we are doing this optimal aging. Show. show yes to help try and benefit everybody yes that yeah. you take note from uh, before it happens and take preventive measures yes exactly mm, thank you Doris yeah okay so okay sodium okay. remember we say sodium right we like to say uh, less than 200 m 2000 mg a day which yeah. is less than one teaspoon of salt a day yes yeah so sodium we our body will need it to function mm. yeah but too much is also no good for us because it can lead to a lot of the uh, other condition you know, like dehydration, then um, might need to renal condition, your kidney might be affected also. Yeah. Yeah. So over here, I don't know whether our friends and viewers can see or not. I'm trying my best not to include the brands, but these are peanut butter that I eat at home. Ah. Yeah, the both of them. Okay. Uh, it's the same brand, it's just different product. Mm. Can you see what's a different product or not? Both are crunchy, yeah? Yeah. Both are so-called natural, right? Unsorted. One is yes. unsorted. Yes. <laughs> but peanut naturally is salted already, right? Peanut yeah. itself don't have a lot of salt. It's just like people like to add salt. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, so, okay. uh, 
Okay, if you see the unsorted one on the right, the red colour one, mm. yes, you are right in the say that it's naturally sorted. But mm. compare 5 mg to the, the other one, which is 90 mg. Oh my god, no, that's a lot. So 90 mg, is that already one teaspoon? Then it takes uh, up a whole No, day. one teaspoon of salt will be about 2000 ah. mg. So, uh, this is, by the way, just take note, nah, this is only about 32 grams, which is two teaspoon. Okay. Two tablespoons, actually, sorry. Yeah, so I want to, you know, uh, remind everyone also, you know, what, how I actually go about um, reading labels. Mm, okay. So this is one good example that I'm going to use. First of all, you know, when we look at the nutritional facts, then we look at the so the serving. Mm. But because this PowerPoint is slight, right, it's about sodium. Okay. So we like, first thing you know, oh, the sodium. <laughs> it's yes. same product, same brand. Yes. But what's the difference? Like you say already, <laughs> teacher Eileen already say, one sorted, one unsorted. Mm. Then, you know, the, you see the sodium. Wow, 5 versus 90. Uh -huh. 90 mg versus 5 mg. Yeah. yeah, so natural peanuts itself, you know, the real peanut actually have sodium, mm. but it's not a lot. Okay. Yeah, like 2 teaspoon, 2 yes. tablespoon, yes. which is about 32 gram, uh, a little bit only, uh -huh. you will have 5 mg. So it's not so bad. Okay. But if you take the one which already has a bit of salt inside, yeah. Then it's 90 mg. Okay. Yeah, then you have to you know, think about it. Lah. We consider. Lah. Mm. Yeah. So, as I was saying, that we need salt, but not too much. Yes. Yeah, then there's a lot of hidden salt in all our food. Lah. Our potato chip also have, you know, even soya sauce, um, whatever gravy, curry. Mm. Um, a lot of food actually does contain sodium. Yeah. So, it's very easy to exceed the 2000. Yeah. Especially if you eat canned food, you know? Yeah, uh, canned food a lot. Food. Because Whoa. they will need all the salt to preserve the food. Ma. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the, Same um, with sugar also. Hidden sodium, hidden sugar. Mm. Mm. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we see here, the serving size is about 2 tablespoons, TBSP, right? Yes, that's right. This tablespoon, about 32 grams. Mm. Then, uh, they tell you that serving, that means the whole jug <gasps> of this uh, Rina, hello Rina Lam, hello, thank you for joining us Rina. Rina asks, so which is good, sorted or unsorted? Okay, I will say that if you eat a lot of sorted things uh, throughout the day, right, and you think that you exit, go for unsorted. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is that if you have very simple meals, you are conscious of what you are eating, and you know that you don't eat a lot of uh, salty stuff, that means you die die will not exit. Uh, 2,000 mg of salt, which is like one teaspoon uh, of mm. salt, uh, mm. then you can go for the yeah, salted one. Because, Rina, the recommended daily intake of salt is like one teaspoon only, you know? One teaspoon. Whole day. For whole day, yeah, for one whole day. Then, uh, like uh, presenter Doris has mentioned, actually, we con we consume uh, sodium without knowing. Like, mm. like when we eat, uh, for example, potato chips, wow, it already contains a lot of sodium. So, then we drink soup, uh, or we eat uh, gravy, gravy curry. Yeah, curry. It has its own sodium content already, whether by salt or by Soya process. Sauce, oyster sauce. Ah, yes. So that's why when it comes to the peanut butter, then if you love crunchy and salted one, then maybe try to adjust it throughout the day. You don't consume other forms of sodium. Then you can have the salted one. If go by taste, salted or unsalted, nicer. But the thing is that for me, right, I go for the unsalted. After a while, uh, not much difference already. Ah, so yeah. adjust the taste bud. Uh? Yes. Adjust the taste bud. I, I couldn't tell the difference sorted yeah. and unsalted. Usually you can't tell the difference. Okay, uh, one very good example, I said, right? Uh, you know the man jian kui, the pancake that we get from the market, the hawker centre? Uh. They also put peanuts inside, right? Oh, yes. I realised that that peanuts, the old school one, uh, has no salt on it. Oh, but it tastes... Naturally, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. Please correct me if I'm not wrong. I mean, if I'm wrong. Sure. I know some stores have it with sugar. Yes. Some stores, of course, have it with salt. Mm. Certain very old school store, right? Like my friend bought for me because I, I don't <coughs> usually, you know, go and buy by myself. When I bite into it, I realize that it's really pure peanuts, crushed peanut. They don't have like salt and sugar inside. Ah. Mm, inside the pancake. <coughs> so it's like quite interesting. Some stores actually do it the traditional way without. Salt and sugar. Yeah, teacher Eileen got a bit of acid reflux. You continue, oh, okay? okay? okay. Uh, yeah, a bit of acid reflux. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay, the another thing that we have to take note is the serving size. So, we are saying that the one whole jug, right, is about 14 <laughs> servings. So, one serving, two teaspoons. 
two tablespoons, sorry. So um, you can eat this for at least 14 times. This one, maybe you sign that it's very funny, right, for peanut butter. But if you have for potato chip, and you see the, the, the same thing, serving size, they will put that about four serving size. That means the potato chip, you can actually share with three other people, or you can eat four times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, then the, of course the other thing that we have to take is the calories. So calories and all these uh, different components, right, um, will go by the per serving size. Uh, it's not the whole jar, it's like the one serving size which is two tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, mm. so will they actually state like each uh, label serving size for uh, peanut butter? One serving size is two tablespoons. Mm. Then for the crackers, yes, they, they will say also ah. how many servings. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I I don't have other label example because I thought this is good enough. Ah yeah. yes, yes, indeed, yes. good enough. Yes. Then of course you can also see, uh, other than sodium, right? Ah, okay. Sorry. Before that, we go to the calories. Mm -hmm. You like to say calories, right? Yeah, calories. <laughs> why, why people like to see calories? Because calories is energy, is fuel. Well, why people actually so called put on weight? Because your input is more than the output. Output means you exercise, you burn, you know, ah, you use fewer, you know. Yeah. So some people they don't really exercise that much. Yeah. They don't need so much fewer. They don't need so much input. So their input quite a lot. Then you know, unfortunately, it might lead to get weight gain. Weight gain yeah. yeah. So the opposite is also true. The opposite is that you don't eat, you don't have input, but ah. you exercise. Then also. Oh, terrible also. Yeah, loss yeah. of nutrients, oh, loss of minerals. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we want to take note, uh, the input that we are talking, the fuel that you put inside is food, right? Yeah. The input is also calories. Mm. Also calories. Yeah, so on average, right, humans, uh, depending on lifestyle, is about maybe uh, 1,005 to 2,005. Men who are very active, maybe like they need maybe 3,000. Ah. Yeah, so remember to take note also, calories, there's two type of... Um, Units. Yes. Yeah, kilojoules and calories. So in Singapore, we use calories. Okay. KL. Uh, you can actually go to the health promotion website, you know, uh, they will have an estimate on how much calorie a person needs. Mm. So they'll ask you questions like, you know, uh, maybe how old are you? Your height and weight? Do you want to find out your BMI? Um, do you go out a lot or you stay at home? Do you work behind a laptop mm. or, you know, your work needs to go outside and walk about, run about, things mm. like that. They'll ask about lifestyle. Then yeah. they will give you an estimate how much calories do you need in a day. Okay, yeah. I think mine will be just 1,005. <laughs> you don't I go out a lot? Ah. Yeah, no. I stay home. Uh, yeah. Very quiet, quiet. Uh, SH, not SH, I mean, just uh, stay home, you know, yeah. circuit, uh, circuit breaker. <laughs> yeah. So, you, if you, like, teacher Eileen, mm. uh, her, her health promotion result come out, right? She don't move around, things like that. She don't need a lot of calories. She don't need a lot of input. Yeah. So, she will need about 1,005. So, if you see from 1,005, over here, uh, the peanut butter on the left, right, the blue one will say that 200. Then the one on the right is 180. So this is two teaspoon. So if whole day, uh, teacher Eileen don't want to eat anything, right? She just want to eat peanut butter. Just an example. No bread, no vegetable. Just peanut butter. 1,005 divided by 200. <laughs> oh, okay. So to reach. Well, I can take about uh, six, six servings. Uh. Huh? Uh, I'm a calculator. 1,005 divided by 200, right? Uh, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, about 6 servings, you know, yeah, I can have. Hardly more than that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, 6 servings is like uh, 12 tablespoons. No? Ah, oh, uh, wow, that's a lot. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. lot. That's a lot. Okay, <laughs> but remember, please don't do that because um, we as humans, we still need uh, other things like uh, fiber, vitamins, things like that. Oh. Yeah, it's not a lot of fiber also, actually, if you see. Yeah, we still need fats. So if you can see the one on the left is 2000, uh, 200, the yes. one on the right is 180 calories. Uh, okay. Then uh, uh, trans fats, just now we mentioned, mm. now a lot of places don't have trans fats, they have zero, zero gram of trans fats. Mm. But they have other fats also like saturated fats. Oh. Yeah. The DV is actually our daily value which we don't really use in Singapore. For me, I don't use. Oh. Because it means that you know how many percentage uh, it is for an American person. Mm. It's an American unit. Lah. So in Singapore, a lot of food, they don't use UV, DV anymore. Mm. Daily value percentage. Mm. Yeah, I can, you know, it's actually like, for example, your total fat under the American unit, right? It's like you reach one quarter of your whole day fat intake already. Mm. Yeah, so you cannot eat too much fats. Understand. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Then of course cholesterol is zero percent, which is good. You can actually watch out what are the cholesterol in your food. Mm. Uh, there's different type of fat. Some of the other label I've come across are uh, very interesting, very nice one. Mm. They will put total fat how many? Then you see like one big amount, but they will break out into like you know saturated fats, which is not so good for us, but better than trans fat. Mm. Then they have mono unsaturated fat, which is the best kind of fats for us. Oh. Yeah, remember in other episodes we say that there are many different kinds of fats or lipids. Yes. And all of them, uh, you know, come from different sources. Some are good, some are no good for us. Mm. Yeah, so maybe uh, teacher Eileen want to share uh, some good example of good fats, mono unsaturated fats. I don't uh, know. Olive oil, oh, peanut olive oil, oil uh, yeah. Olive oil, this. peanut oil, then I remember the last time we still talked, uh, sesame. Uh, sesame. In the mixture, all these kind of oil, right? Yeah. <laughs> they have different types of uh, oil. Okay, like for example, just take peanut oil, since we are like peanut butter. Yes. So this peanut butter, right, they will have a layer of oil on top. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I remember uh, presenter Doris has uh, shared with us quite a couple of times, yes. When you open up your peanut butter jar, right, and then you see this layer of like, eh, water or oil on top. Don't remove, you know, don't throw away. Actually, that is considered peanut gold. Yeah, good stuff. It's because it contains quite a lot of monounsaturated fats. Yeah. I mean, the oil itself, they have like not 100% monounsaturated fats. They also have other kind of fats, but it got quite a lot of good amount, which is good for us. Why? Our heart, our cholesterol. Cholesterol. Yeah, it's the healthier oil. Uh. So because of the LDL, the D, uh, Yeah, the head. high cholesterol, yeah. low cholesterol. <laughs> good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. So it helps our good cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah. The LDL, mm. which is a good one. Good one. I see. Hey, sorry, sorry. The L H D L. Hey, I got confused. H D L is a good one. Sure. Yeah, H for healthy, ma. Yeah. We bloat, no? So the, our bad things can go, you know, sure, away. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So H for he healthy, eh? mm. yeah. So we see the next slide. Maybe see teacher Eileen can bring us a bit through uh, about. Oh. <coughs> uh. Okay. Maybe I just oh, touch sure. a little bit more. Okay. On uh. You know, just now we talked about the cholesterol, the fats, the sodium. The carbs also, we can also talk a bit. So uh -huh. remember, we need carbs, we also need fiber and sugar, plus that don't acid. Then protein as well, because protein builds our muscle. Mm. So over here, they will talk about protein having 8 grams. So uh -huh. peanut butter does have a bit of protein, and oh. we need our protein also. So out of the different kind of breakfast, right? Eggs and peanut butter, you know, will have more protein compared to you know, things like maybe jam or kaya, mm. unless they are fortified. Lah. Yeah. If not, you know, we will need our protein to get through the rest of the day. Okay. Yeah. So at least now we know that peanut butter has 8 grams in every 2 tablespoons. Chue, do you like peanut butter? <laughs> do you like peanut butter? So it seems like most peanut butter jar has 8 grams. Uh? Eight, uh, so okay, for this one, uh, for other brands, ah, I'm not sure. Ah, okay, alright. Yeah, this both one, this is the same brand. Oh. It's just the one sort, one unsorted, right? Ah. So both of them also have 8 grams in every 2 tablespoons. Okay. Yeah, then of course, fiber. You see, it's only 2 gram in the salted one and 3 gram in the unsalted one. So, not much of a difference. They have fiber, but not a lot. Okay. Yeah, cups also not a lot. Mm. 5 gram only. So, what we gather from here is that it's very tasty, it's very nice, it gives us energy. Yeah, but it's small amounts. Lah. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, of course, the ingredient you can see this one contains peanut and uh, 1% or less than salt. Mm. You see, uh, this thing. Uh, a little bit, 1% or less salt no, in the yeah. whole jar. The sodium is 90 mg already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the other one is just peanuts. No other thing already. The mm. oil is natural peanut oil. Hmm. Yeah, then, uh, okay, you can also see the vitamin A, they tell you straight, no, no, no vitamin A, no Chui vitamin C, no calcium. <laughs> Chewe huh? likes peanut butter. I also yeah. like. <laughs> a lot so, of people like. Chewe, presenter Doris teaching us now how to read the food labeling for peanut butter. Yeah, try to uh, get those with the healthy fats, you know, healthy fat mm. ones. Mm. Okay, so no calcium. Uh, iron on the one on the left is only you know two percent, very little only. So uh -huh. this is how we need to read our labels because a claim might say that you know. Uh, Fortified with iron, but then you realize when you read the iron is only two percent, it's very little. Oh. Yeah, this is just an example. Like then on the right, of course, the iron uh, is one mg. Yeah, and uh, they have other things like potassium also, which is quite a lot, two hundred mm. over. 
Mm. Yeah, I'll go to the next one. Okay, so examples of artificial sugar. Ah, yes, yes. They are sometimes, you know, in the uh, canned drinks, yes, we have this. Or sometimes we want to uh, make our own coffee and tea, right? So we also have aspartame, then we have saccharin. Oh, this Ace K. Ace K, I've seen it, uh, but I don't think I've uh, tried. So I'm not so sure in what form. Uh. Maybe later presenter Doris will uh, share. But so we've got also sucralose, neotame. Advatem, it seems like all comes with the T A R T. Ring yeah. or tame or ris. <laughs> yeah. We even have the Luohan Guo extracts. Oh, indeed. Uh, Luohan Guo is a herb, you know. So if uh, it contains a bit of yeah, sweetness, sugar, so it's natural form. For me, my example of uh, uh, not artificial, maybe substitute sugar is honey. <laughs> honey, maybe manuka. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's of course uh, the I say that um a honey, right, is a thing that we are considered because uh, of course there's benefit, like yes. you know, it's anti inflammatory. Yeah. But of course there's not so good things about it because too much sugar ah. is no good for us also. Okay, yeah, so contains. everything in moderation. Yeah, indeed, indeed yeah because honey contains uh, sugar. Even yep. the manuka. Okay, yeah. so the effects of artificial sugar. Okay, effects of artificial sugar. Oh, it alters brain chemistry. It gives you sugar cravings even more. Wow, mm. after you eat sugar, you know, when the sugar level drops suddenly, ah, well, you get even more sugar high, sugar craving. Then there's hyperactivity. Oh dear. <laughs> like <laughs> overactive. <laughs> overactive. Of course, sugar will result in like weight gain uh, because calories, you know, weight gain. So not very good. It also affects our sleep quality and causes insomnia. Yeah, so this oh. is artificial sugar. That's why we actually showed the slide previously on all the different names that we use oh. or the different kind of sugar, which is artificial sugar. Lah. Okay. So, you know, we, we have to take note. And then uh, one thing that we always want to ask ourselves Self, uh, it's also a quite a hip topic now, uh -huh. a trending topic is that are we having sugar addiction? Yeah, what about artificial sugar, artificial sugar addiction? How? Uh? Also can. Right? That's why, I mean, sugar can be additive, oh. even artificial sugar. Oh, yeah. So we have to take note also because it's like we try it, our brain will say like one more and more and more. Mm. That's a sugar craving. So we always say that addiction happens when we never realize it. Eh, but this is quite. What you know, because we thought artificial sugar, artificial sugar will be better, but it causes weight gain uh, and sleep. Uh, I wouldn't things. say artificial sugar is be better. This oh. one is saying that it's not that good for us. <gasps> yeah. So all sugar, we have to take note. I, for me, right, uh, it's a personal preference. Yeah. Uh, for me, I rather go for natural sugars, mm. but for some people, right, they will go for artificial sugar. So you have to weigh lah. So mm. as I said, everything in moderation. Mm. If you can do without the sugar, try not to. <gasps> to do without sugar. Yeah, because yeah. for us laymen, we will think, okay, so we don't go for the real sugar, mm. uh, we go for artificial sugar. That's what I did. Uh, actually, the thing is that now the current study, of course, there's a very different school of thoughts. Uh. So, there's some study that say that sugar, artificial sugar is not as good. Ayo, <laughs> so, ayo, we have to do our, all our own research. Ayo, then how? So, okay, I, if I buy my soft drinks, I should go for the zero sugar, right? Yes. Hey, but cannot be. The soft drink still tastes sweet, so they definitely added yeah, some. Yeah, so added sugar. So <laughs> don't don't drink too much soft drink. Ayah. You know, in one can of soft drink, it might be two serving. Then Ayah. you have to share with another person. Because I saw uh, no sh zero sugar, right? I yeah. buy and then I drink every day. Uh, try oh, not to. Okay. So everyone, please, you know, um, let's be like Eileen, uh. teacher Eileen. Uh. Try to cut down on our no sugar. <gasps> okay, I learned so. I learned something today that's very valuable. Yes. Liu Chu Wei, Chu Wei and Rina, we hope you also uh, learn something here. Chu Wei, do you like soft drinks? Yeah, so maybe you can cut down, you know. Uh, find alternative to more healthier choice uh, for soft drinks. Yeah, but of course in moderation, not drink too much. Okay, in yeah. moderation. You mm -hmm. want you mean you maybe like you know once or twice a week? Uh, yeah, once or twice, yeah. Otherwise if change to um, I mean, fruit juice I know contains sugar, so... But it's natural sugar. Natural sugar, ah, okay. Understand. Drink water lah. <laughs> drink water, yeah. <laughs> oh, drink yeah and but lemon, but put lemon yeah, so you get the lemon, taste. Yeah, put lemon, yes. But not too much, you take your teeth lah, the emerald also weakened. Oh dear! Okay. <laughs> too oh, much this... lemon, no good for our teeth lah. Ah, guilty, They're not guilty. white ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sensitive refined, teeth. Mm, mm. Refined grains, we have white rice, bread, or noodles, mm. uh, these are refined grains. So refined carbohydrates. Oh dear, high glycemic index and glycemic load. Oh, so what are the uh, risks? It impairs memory intelligence. <gasps> Increased risk of dementia. 
impacts blood sugar, increase inflammation, which we don't want because we just learned that body inflammation can cause diseases. Uh, higher is, risk, huh? yeah. uh, which are the higher <laughs> risk for obesity, <laughs> metabolic syndrome, oh dear, type 2 diabetes and other more inflammatory conditions. Yep. These are refined grains. Uh, That's why rice. I say that let's try to you know, stick to complex carbs, mm -hmm. which is our brown rice, mm -hmm. our wholemeal bread, wholemeal whole grain noodles and bihun. Oh. Try not to eat too much refined carbs. I know the tenzu mi, uh, uh, very nice, right? Tenzu mi. Uh, uh, Japanese rice, ah. the short grain rice. Okay, yes. uh, very nice, right? But uh, that one has the highest GI. <gasps> That means you eat already, your sugar will spike. spike. Sugar level will spike. Talking about the sticky one? Ah? Yes. Oh dear. Uh, glucanous rice also. Oh. The luo mi. Luo mi All this, you know, we can eat but not every day. Oh yeah, dear. Let's treat it as a, but a special treat. Yeah, special, special red, red food. Yeah, treat it as a luxury food. A luxury For me, food. I treat it as a luxury food because I know that you know the high GI will affect me. Ah. Yeah, so I try not to eat too much refined greens. It's a luxury to me. I really enjoy them. Ah. White rice also, but let's go for re uh, refined one as an everyday food. Blue uh, as a red color food. Ah, uh, no, sorry, green color food. Ah, yes, yeah. yes. Green. Remember our traffic light story? Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, green means go, 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 can eat every day. Mm. Then, uh, red colour means eat once a while. Mm. Like danger, danger. Yeah. Then, of course, orange in between. Mm. So, we have to eat everything in moderation. Mm. Mm. So, Chewy, hope you have uh, listened before when Doris presenter told us about the traffic light story. Later on, uh, after the end of the show, we'll bring back that again. Chewy, you got any questions you want to ask us? Uh, so here we are talking about refined grains, uh, which are white rice, bread, noodle. So presenter Dory says it's better to go for complex carbohydrate. Yeah, you know? wholemeal. Mm. Wholemeal. Yeah. In fact, uh, teacher Eileen mm. gave me a very good suggestion last week. So tomorrow we have our cooking show, right? Yes. Uh, we are hoping that to cook some nice grains for our viewers and friends. <sighs> so you will try to make it a complex mm. meal. Complex grains meals. Yeah, I'm trying my best to do it. Okay. Tomorrow. So yeah. Chuwe, you must join us for tomorrow's show. It's a four cooking. Yeah, four o'clock, correct. Four o'clock. Food preparation. Healthy diet food preparation and fast and easy and efficient to yes. make. Mm. Try to do complex grain rice, the rice bowl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do a rice bowl, but complex one. Wow. Not simple one. Not okay. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> simple. <laughs> Chuwe, do you cook at home? Do you cook? Do you prepare your own food and bring to work? Yeah. So after tomorrow's show, uh, uh, presenter Doris teach, maybe you can prepare from home and then bring to work. Uh, so daily, you also can have some home prepared food. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So we were talking about processed food and meats, right? Yeah. So um, generally, uh, the market uh, categorized into three. Mm. So uh, unprocessed, processed, ultra processed. I'm sorry my, my <laughs> video blocked the, some of the text but I will just go through. Yeah. Uh, the idea is that processed food and meats add preservatives, yeah. flavours, nutrients and other food adjectives. So you know all the bombastic words, uh, all the chemical words uh, might be food adjectives. Oh yeah. Mm. So unprocessed food mm. is uh, what our earth, our mother nature intended. You know, a real apple, yeah. you know, a real fish, yeah. a real cut of meat. Uh, you know, with the uh, eggs, eggs. eggs as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these are like real food. Real food, yeah. real food. So potato, these are... sweet potato, yes. yam, yes. Oh. vegetables. Vegetables. All your real lettuce that you buy fresh, your uh, tauge. Tauge, <laughs> yeah. tomato. All these are unprocessed. Mm. Yeah. Then, uh, we, we, one example la, we like to use is raw apple. Yeah. So you can just like that eat, right? Or you just cook, no need to, you know, it, it's like... Non-processed one, natural ah, one. Okay, just eat like that. Mm. Mm. Then of course we have processed food. Example, canned, canned tuna, canned sardine. Oh yeah. Yeah, frozen peas, yeah. frozen chicken. Frozen lychee, no, uh, canned lychee. <laughs> yeah. Canned rambutan. Trim, that means some of the food that you eat, right? Like for example, chicken, as just example, trim yeah. ready. That means no feather, no fats. Oh. Yeah, trim ready, uh, but still can eat. Oh. Process because they take away the feather, they take away the skin, oh. uh, but you still can eat the meat. Okay. Yeah, trim. Then of course preserve like your preserved uh, pickles, yes. your acha, your kimchi. Yeah, these are what we call process. Process. Yeah, because um, they add things like sugar, fats, salt, oh. or they remove some parts. 
they you know um, process it so that it can can or frozen. Uh -huh. So we have to take note that okay, the one the unprocessed one is the best for us uh -huh. because it has the highest nutrients and fiber. Original, I know, no chung, original. Yeah. yeah, that one is the highest amount of nutrients and fiber we can get. Fiber, of course, is important for us because we need it to get our bowel system moving. Mm. Go toilet. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> then, of course, process. We have to take note. Some of it have like additional sugar, additional fat, additional sodium and salt, which is not so good for us. Mm. So everything in uh, you know discretion and moderation. Mm. Mm. Ultra process. Mm. Our favorite. Fast, quick, and easy. Ma, they yeah. say but it's not healthy. Ultra processed food it has the least amount of nutrients. Mm. Um, they also have the least amount of fiber. Mm. Tend to be things like from corn, mm. soy, wheat, and they have a lot of, usually tend to have a lot of fats, sugar, salt. So I have some examples here. Uh, mm. Okay, our viewers can also contribute in. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Chui, Rina, you can contribute uh, the answers. Huh? Ultra processed. Okay, I'll give okay. an example. Um, oh. For example, ready to eat Pizza, you know all those that you buy, then oh. you put microwave ready yes. to eat. You don't have to do anything. It's very convenient. Uh -huh. You put microwave, bing bing bing, ding, then you can eat. Uh -huh. uh, so I will say uh, instant noodles. Yes, you are right. The second bing, one bing. is instant me. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> the third one is packaged snacks. Like uh, for example, our cracker? some kind of uh, cereals or potato oh, chip. Even cereals, I thought those are good for. Oh no. They are quite. Ultra process. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. So, as I said, everything in your discretion. Mm -hmm. Read the label. How much sodium inside? Also, mm -hmm. how much fiber inside? Fiber we need lah. It's a good thing lah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of it is fortified. Is good, but we got to check how much sodium and sugar inside. Oh, okay, okay. Ultra process already. Ultra process. So, uh, have to take note lah. I mean, yes, we can eat, but we have to check whether it's a lot of fats, a lot of sugar, a lot of salt. Mm hmm. Then. So instant me, ready to eat meals, pizza, you know, uh, packet snacks, like c certain cereal, uh, maybe oh. not all kind. Uh, some are good because they fortify with all the vitamins. Mm. Um, yeah, we have to take note. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's why I say this is fortified. So fortified is a word that all of us must know yeah. because they add in all the good stuff like vitamins and minerals, which may not be easily found in a lot of food. Mm. Yeah. Okay, our favorite bubble tea. Woo -hoo. Wow, it comes with excess sugar and caffeine. <gasps> okay, so this is an example. Like for example, there are some studies who say that somebody eat drink three cups a week. What might happen? Uh, I think Channel News Asia also did something similar. I didn't know. Okay. Channel News Asia did something similar. They Ayy. drink bubble tea every day. Uh -huh. So one of it is the weight gain. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the inflammatory marker higher. That means the risk Why? is higher. The Why? cholesterol is higher also. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the sugar, blood sugar definitely higher. Hey. Then of course all these right will lead to an increased risk of heart attack, stroke and diabetes. Okay. If I don't take with the sugar, you got bubble? Yes. Uh. Oh. Got of course you can still drink with sugar and bubble tea uh. in moderation. Okay. Yeah. Oh dear! Don't extra bubble la. Extra Once bu a week or something la. <laughs> Like it's a little <laughs> treat, no? Small things you can enjoy. Mm. So, do you enjoy bubble tea? Maybe you can go for less bubble, less sugar. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, alcohol. alcohol! Oh dear, alcohol disrupts the gut. Oh, causes leaky gut as well. Mm. And trigger inflammation flow through bloodstream. That is so dangerous. Inflammation through bloodstream. Can cause clog clogging. Uh. Clogging and then also uh, it disrupt. I think the most important thing is that um, it disrupt. The first thing that happens is that it disrupt the gut. I mean, remember we need good bacteria and yes. bad bacteria. Yeah. They have to live in harmony inside us. Mm. So once uh, this harmony is disrupted, uh, in balance really, uh, then we start to have a lot of problems. Okay. So alcohol in moderation also. Uh. Of course, certain alcohol, like for example, red wine. Mm, yes. Or they have you no know, good uh, some good component and chemicals also. It's like antioxidant. Ah. Yeah, good antioxidant in red wine. Oh, okay. But the thing is that also in moderation. Understand. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, Chue say yes without sugar. He drinks bubble tea. Yay, good, Chue. Uh, I didn't realize that I haven't drink bubble tea for a long time, actually. Haven't. Oh, later can we? Uh, uh, luxury, luxury. Luxury, <laughs> luxury yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chue, did you have your bubble tea today? Good to hear that you take bubble tea without sugar. Yeah, and also take note on the bubble. Ah, uh, yeah. less bubble because... Uh, yeah, yeah. Not every day, la. maybe like once a week. Three one times day. a week is actually quite dangerous already, oh. according to the research. Okay, understand. Yeah. If you are interested, uh, Channel News Asia on YouTube, I just watched mm. quite funny. The guy was drinking bubble tea, then the results was like, wow, scary. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's an experiment. Uh. Experiment. And then he was suffering, actually. His <gasps> face is like, he really hated it. Oh dear. Yeah, it's become like initially he enjoyed bubble tea, but after some time, he really hates it already. Oh, mm. okay. Okay, good sleeping habits. Ah, so don't consume too much coffee tea or soda too late or too much yeah because those contains caffeine nah? mm. so take too much tea too much coffee oh cannot sleep uh, night become night hour so um, i think yeah, elaine says that you drink the no sugar soft drink right soda yeah. drink it might not have sugar but it have artificial sugar as well as caffeine uh, yeah. yeah so got to take note also yeah teacher Eileen really yeah uh, because i saw zero sugar oh i buy then drink like in every moderation day. Okay. i mean the thing about research is like that people do research mm. they will come out and have updates all the while so last time people say oh, yeah eggs no good for us because cause cholesterol then uh. people stop eating eggs then after that you know there are new research saying that actually eggs are okay oh yeah yeah so we have to always keep ourselves uh, not only updated but we are not so, you know, we, we can't be busy. You cannot have all the updates all the time. Yeah, then correct. the best thing for us to protect ourselves is to eat and consume in moderation. Okay, that's a good, yeah, yeah that's a good way. Okay, so uh, avoid eating too late or too much as well because it will be hard to sleep when digesting a big meal in your stomach. Yeah. You know, a very funny thing is that I realised that if I eat and I sleep, right, mm. I will get nightmares. You mentioned that before. Yeah. yeah. How come? Uh? Because overactive. Uh? I, I think because of this, like, you know, the system digesting, so they want to give me weird dreams, the brain working, you know, the, uh. the body, the, the stomach working, the brain say, hey, I do, cannot do nothing. <laughs> uh. Let's give uh, presenter Dory some weird dreams. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the brain also want to work, you no? Know? The brain cannot see the stomach working, not doing anything. Electronic device, la. <laughs> keep the brain wired, right? Uh. Yeah, so the brain want to co correlate with the stomach. So, okay, so avoid eating too much, uh, too mm. much at night, wait, yeah. Too late, too much. Too la. late, too much. And minimise the fatty and spicy food because wait, you sleep on a go toilet, oh dear, then go <laughs> wake up. Uh, night visits to the toilet uh, keeps you awake, cannot sleep properly. And then uh, you don't want to switch on the light, right? Then you get dangerous because you like, risk of falling down, oh, not yeah. into things. Not into things, kerbang, kerbong, kerbong. I see, I see. So was this the uh, light omitted? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, this one uh, didn't appear. But electronic devices, we have to take note also. Uh, you will keep our brain wired and then the light emitted su suppresses the natural production of the melatonin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That one is the natural yes. sleep tendency melatonin. Ah. Okay, mm. okay, okay. So try not to... Uh, iPad la, whatever Handphone. around la. Yeah, you mentioned this, you know, so teacher Eileen also play her part. Now I don't put the handphone beside me when I sleep. I actually uh, put it on the table. I purposely make the charging point the further one. Yeah, so I take note la, yeah, because otherwise, oh dear, really, no, it maybe not the light from the device that keeps my brain wired, but I very capable. I want to wake up, I want to check my handphone, I want to check my messages. So when I start, I go into Facebook, oh, cannot come out already. <laughs> By then I look, look, eh, 1 a.m. Oh dear, I continue, oh, 1.30 already. Yeah. So we hope that everyone can um, have good sleeping habits. Remember, it's not about the number of hours, mm -hmm. which, you know, recommend 6 to 8 hours. Yes. But also, the quality of sleep is very important. Mm -hmm. Some people can sleep for like 6 hours every night and they are okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the quality of sleep matters a lot so one of it you know like teacher Eileen says you know uh, if you realize your sleep is not that fantastic watch your caffeine intake watch your makan mm. and watch where you put your handphone ipad laptop <laughs> all that yeah, yeah this three. so if you have good sleeping habits like me mm. sleep very well sleep very deep you know um, and then we got a fresh then of course I don't have to do too much into it lah. Mm. these are more for you know, people who need help to improve their sleeping habits. Mm, yes.
Okay, and some stretching exercise. I'm sorry, I don't have any pictures here. Stretching. I was hoping that uh, maybe next episodes we can get uh, maybe Instructor. Spencer yes. or someone to come and demonstrate all these exercises as well. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are trying to get in uh, other instructors, yeah, to do uh, to showcase, demo. you know, demo, yeah, the physical aspects, yeah. yeah so yes, we will try to uh, accommodate and come to it so that our viewers, uh, will actually have a visual of how these exercises are done. Mm. Yeah. So, so oh, well, you want to go through? Sure. Okay. So it's a cross-legged sitting. Oh. Like sit on the floor, cross-legged. Ah, yes, yes, like that. A bit like a meditative pose, yes? Yes, yes. So, camel, camel pose. pose. I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, Are you, next time like, we'll ah, cover okay. this. Like. Yes, we'll but generally this, or you can actually check online also. Some simple stretch ah. uh, will help you to sleep. Okay, so we got the knee to chest also. Mm, the supine. Knee to chest. I need chest. Then we got the bridge pose. Uh, upward dog, I've seen this before. This is stretch a yoga. Back, relax after that, after ah. stretching. It would be great if you can bring in the instructor, then the yeah. uh, audience, uh, they can see and then practice a little bit, you know. Because like uh, nowadays, it's always stay home, stay home. Uh, so do a bit of stretching. So there's also the child pose. And then there is the corpse pose. pose. Which oh. can prepare to sleep already. So easy! So easy. All oh. this uh, is actually, I would say, can be done on the bed itself. Uh. You know, of course, um, be careful lah. Uh, yeah. In case your bed not stable, you can actually do a right, simple variation, relax your body and then go to sleep. Hopefully oh. that all this stretching can help for a better quality sleep. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so. Two simple tips. One bit might really? help. Yeah. Really? Might help. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry it's covered. Uh, the one on the left is wear socks, mm -hmm. the one on the right is warm food soak. Now the weather is getting cold, uh, by the way, our friends and viewers can take note that temperature will be dropping, especially at night in Singapore, uh. and also it might rain more. Oh. So keep yourself dry, bring an umbrella, bring some raincoat, you know, bring a jacket when you go out. Wow. So for the warm feet, uh, I heard uh, old wives tell, uh, they say if coughing, uh. then keep the feet warm. I read somewhere, so okay. I'm not so sure, but this is for sleeping. I can relate, you know, warm Foot soak, wear socks because um, sometimes when we can't sleep, it's really due to blood circulation. Mm. Yeah, so when you go and do the heat pad or the warm foot soak, uh, you increase the blood circulation. But dry first after that, <laughs> must dry, uh, must, must dry. dry yeah, wet, wet, uh, worse. Blow cold, then cold again. Ah, it's all young again. So it's actually a therapeutic feeling, yeah. I feel. That you know, some people say they want you to relax, they like maybe use some aroma therapy oil, uh. or they say, um, you know. Uh, make the place more cozy, the mm. temperature must be right. So, of course, uh, you can do all that, but before that, you can also try wearing socks, mm. you know, a, a comfortable pair of socks, not too tight, you know, and then uh, actually you can also go for some warm socks. Some people have a warm shower, uh. yeah, keep themselves toasty, then yeah. they go and sleep. Because yeah. around Singapore, it's getting cold. I for the, this month, according to the weather reports. Yeah, and also, yeah, I've heard some forecasts la, around mm. the world because of global warming, it's going to be cool, cold, cold temperature. Some other, lucky Singapore is quite moderate. Some other countries will have it a bit more tougher. Imagine Upcoming daytime months. very hot, nighttime very cold. Correct. Like de de desert. Like like desert, indeed, like desert. So, as we are speaking here, so I think Presenter Doris and myself, Teacher Eileen, also like to reach out to everyone, do your part. For mother nature, yes. if you can, yeah. Please reduce your carbon footprint. Indeed, yeah. Every person, every individual counts, uh, mm. because every small thing that we do and we spread the message, it can grow wide and mass, yeah. And it's really time that we really have to protect Mother Earth, uh, get her to heal and rejuvenate. Mm. Well, one first thing to do is that please try to switch off all the lights and electricity. You know, um, if you don't need them, switch them off. Mm. Uh, rather switch them off or, or if you are just leaving for a short while, like, you know, two minutes, then of course you don't need to switch off because you on off is even worse. Yes, yeah. search. Search of electricity. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, try to conserve some water also. Try not to eat beef mm. because beef, uh, the meat, right, contain, uh, will release the gas called methylene. Mm. And it's not good for us, not good for Mother Nature, not good for the environment. Mm. Try to, you know, uh, restrict yourself lah in terms of eating beef. Yeah. Uh, set if you have to on the aircon, set it like twenty five degree and above. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Indeed. And of course, uh, the fastest way uh, as the government also spreading the message: reuse, reduce, and recycle. 
Yeah, so not so much production wastage. Mm. Yeah. I know Tapau food, right? Yeah. Tapau food, all the container is like one of the worst, especially during the circuit breaker period. <sighs> so try to ha you know have your own Tapau boxes, lah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't okay. buy new things, lah. Actually, buying new things with all the packaging, uh, Oh yes, yeah, the boxing. It's quite bad. Yeah. yeah, so um, that's why I guess carousel comes in because a lot of people like sometimes they want things they will just go to carousel then yes. without all the packaging and everything. Ah, I yeah, see. Yeah, it's like one man's uh, fresh Item. is another person's gold. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Okay. So you no, know, let's be open. Think about alternative. Yes. Yeah, to save, you know, a little effort goes a long way. Mm. Well mm. said. Well said. Yeah. All right, our last slide. Yay. What are the food that we can try and consider? If you want better quality sleep, oh. food does help as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay. So <laughs> food that contains tri tritophan, turkey, eggs, cheese, tofu, salmon. Oh. Oh, which one your favorite? I love turkey. I love eggs. I love tofu. I'm I love salmon. <laughs> Ooh. But I don't know what's tritophan. Oh uh, no no the one the first or top is just the different kind of minerals ah. and uh, components so we don't need to know one. Okay. Yeah, okay. these are all con we, the only the one that below or the food then ah. we can you know think about what okay. we like. Uh. So I would go for that. What about you, Doris? Magnesium. Okay, magnesium. Of course, uh, chia seeds is one of it. Uh, has magnesium, bananas, avocado, dark chocolate, almonds, pumpkin seed. My favorite, dark chocolate, but in moderation. Uh, oh. Uh, they are contain magnesium. I don't like any there. <laughs> you don't like any there? Uh, no. Never mind. Uh, Melatonin. Okay. Pineapple, cherries, fennel, and tomatoes. I only like pineapple and cherries. You don't like tomatoes? No. <laughs> okay. Fennel seed also no. You can consider Spicy. them next time. Okay, okay. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin B6. Pork, poultry, quinoa, potatoes, banana, peanuts. Okay. I, I like almost all except banana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good to moderation, right? We mix and match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, if I mean my my sleep is still quite okay. But from what I see, I I would like the eggs, I like the cheese, I like the tofu, I like the salmon. Maybe oh. tofu not so much because I don't eat a lot. Oh. Then uh, magnesium. Then we can go for things like dark chocolate, avocado, mm. almond, pumpkin seeds. Mm. Does Dale, does Dale like almond, dark potato, eh, dark potato, dark, dark chocolate, dark chocolate, <laughs> dark potato? Ah, <laughs> uh, this one all for helping to sleep lah, nutrients for sleeping. Sleep. Yeah, yeah. So pineapple, Dale like pineapple, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Doris, your choice is all the mixture, right? Yeah, yeah. I always yeah. go for mixture. You don't need to actually just select just one out of the whole list. Don't oh, worry. Okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Very interesting to know. I then can pick and choose, pick and choose from here. Yeah, I have yeah. a whole range, here, right? Whole range. Yeah. Later we ask Dale what is specific ones. So good for sleep, good for nutrients. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're about to come to the end yes, of the this show. This is the last slide. Last slide. Yeah. So Chuwe, Rina, certainly hope you've enjoyed watching the show and uh, you've. Uh, gain some knowledge, you know. Uh, we hope that after gaining the knowledge, you can help to share the information to your colleagues, your loved ones, your family members. Uh, because we'll, um, we also like uh, for this to be passed on. Uh, then everybody can be well informed as well. So today was about food labelling and you can check uh, all the contents, the minerals and nutrients and excess uh, sodium etc. in the food that you consume. Mm. With that, we come to the end of the show. We'll see you next week. Thank you, presenter Dory. Thank you, teacher Eileen. Everywhere, everyone take care. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.